In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to run the PHP code. In order to run the PHP code, I will have to create a file whose extension will be .php. In the local server, in the www folder, I have created a folder that's name is php underscore practice. Now into this folder, I will go to create a file, for example, index.php file. You can also give it, uh, give it any name, for example, test.php or anything you like. I am just going to put it in index.php, that is okay. Now I am going to run this PHP practice folder with my editor. So I am going to open the CMD, then code dot and the folder will be opened into my VS code or Visual Studio code editor. You can also create a new file from here if you just click here and give it a name for example test.php then enter you will see that another php file has been created into this folder if i go here you will see that this one is created here now i am going to remove it because i will only work with this php file so you can now write the php code in this file because this file extension is .php in order to run a PHP code, you must have to put a syntax that is this one. This is a PHP block. So into this PHP block, you can write the PHP code. So I am going to write a code, for example, echo. This is a test code in PHP. So I just write something into the echo. So using this, I can write I can print something on the browser. So this is a PHP code. Echo is actually used to show the string. I am now going to run this code in my browser and then you will understand. So let's open my browser and here I am going to write localhost PHP practice. And then into the PHP practice, I am going to write index.php because my file name is index.php. Now you will see that the code is running here. This is a test code in PHP. You do not see any echo here because the PHP codes will not be shown on your browser publicly. What you execute in the PHP, only the output or the result will be shown on the browser. So echo was used actually to show the output of a string. So here I am just going to show this string and that will be shown in the browser. Okay. Now what you can do, you can write any HTML syntax into the PHP code. For example, if I write something like this, that is actually a HTML syntax and heading tag h1. This is a heading. If I just put the HTML in to here like this if I refresh it you will see that the styling for the h1 is showing here that means it is working perfectly so in this way into any PHP syntax you can write the HTML course also you can sh uh, show the HTML course into a PHP syntax multi-line for example if you want to show the HTML code. This is actually a complete HTML code with the syntax and with the tags. Here what I want to do, I am going to write a H1. This is a heading. If I normally run this HTML code into the PHP, you can do that. You can just refresh it. You will see that into the .php extension, you can easily show any HTML. No problem with it. Also, what I can do, I can put any HTML code into the PHP syntax. So here I can write this and the whole code I can write into my echo. My syntax was actually like this here. The whole code that is HTML I can cut and I can put everything here. Now if I refresh, you will see that the same output is coming. That means you can easily write any HTML code into the PHP code block or into the PHP echo. Similar way, 
I can write the PHP code into HTML. If I go back and if I now want to write the PHP code into HTML, so here I can easily write the PHP code. So here you can write like this and here echo and I can use a paragraph tag here that is like this and I write here this is a paragraph that means the PHP code is into the HTML now if I run this you will see that this is a paragraph if in the browser I want to see the paste source you will see that the PHP code is not showing here only the output is showing here that PHP wanted to print I hope you have understood the logic how we can use the PHP syntax easily.